Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Interesting, y'all, today's topic. uh, I have been talking a lot just this year about how we've gone through many things, one thing being having radical faith. That's something that I had to learn this year. And I even mentioned it was such a big thing for me. I gave away mustard seeds at my birthday party because faith was just so inundated with everything I had going on in my life and that radical faith of just jumping out and doing what God is telling you to do. You don't know if you're going to hit the ground. You don't know if you're going to be caught. You just know that you have to make the move. And that is usually what radical faith entails. And it's, it's radical because it extends you and it stretches you in a way that feels that it feels like you lose control. That's why it's so radical. That's why it's it's such a quote unquote thing because it's just too much. Um, you know, for you to handle on your own as if you were walking things out in your regular walk of faith. So with that being said, you know, when we go through seasons, y'all, we, we're never not in a season, if you will. You're always in a season. If it's a quiet season, a active season, whatever, you're always in a season. It just depends on what season you're in. And you should, you should be able to know how to name your season, right? So I came to the realization that, you know, just from what I've been gathering lately, my own personal experiences and just multiple things that have been happening. Many, many of us are in a pruning season. Okay. A pruning season, uh, is, is not fun, (laughs) but basically I was reading this article from charisma mag and they were given like some great instruction and advice on a pruning season. And they actually described the two, basic types of branches that need to be removed from a tree when it's being pruned. I had no idea about this, but it made a lot of sense. So I'm going to read a little piece of it to you. Um, And this is actually going to be a two-parter. I'm just going to do a little bit of it today, but I'm going to read a little small part to you today. And then I'm going to elaborate and then we'll bring it on home tomorrow. So check this out. There are two types, two basic types of branches that need to be removed. The first is a branch that is growing in the wrong direction. These branches rub the other branches and can cause disease. They also block out the sunlight that is needed for flower buds to form. The other type of branch is called a sucker branch that shoots out beneath the graft. These branches are incredibly dangerous to the life of the tree. They will draw all of the strength and energy from the tree into themselves and the tree will often die but only above the graph, which is where the blooms grow. I want to stop right there. And if we look at this, if we think about what we're going through right now in our lives, like God may be cutting people off from us. He may be ending relationships. He may be stopping things. And you're not realizing, you know, some of the people that God has taken out of your life right now. Wow. Some of the people God has taken out of your life right now, they are in that first stage. They're the branch that's going in the wrong direction. And because they're going in the wrong direction, it can be rubbing up against you, causing dis-ease. You know, in the case of the actual tree, it's disease. Like, you know, it'll make the other branches sick. But, you know, there could be that person because they're going in the opposite direction of what you desire. It's causing you to be, for you to have dis-ease and you are uncomfortable and you are feeling like something is not right. Okay? Also... What this one does, it blocks out the sunlight. God is taking people away from you that's stealing your shine. You want to share, you want to help, but God is saying no. They are trying to steal your shine. They want to upstage you when you can't even see it. You know, he's really, really trying to get your attention because he's like, listen, when they try to steal your shine, for the technical terms, it says 
You need the sunlight for the flower buds to form. So think about it with yourself. If that person is stealing your shine or blocking your shine, trying to cause you not to illuminate in front of people, your illumination, your shining is connected to other things blossoming and blooming. When people see you shine, they're going to want to add you to other things and they want you to do more things and God will find new opportunities for you. But imagine if you're connected to someone who is going in the wrong direction, they're causing you dis-ease. They're blocking your light and it's causing you to miss other opportunities. God is going to sever that relationship. God is not going to keep that there because you are the one consistently losing. And that's not what God wants for you. He does not want you to consistently lose because of this error that's causing you to pause and to miss the things that he's trying to give to you now. Now, the second part is now this is an obvious one. And I say this all the time, y'all, we got to work on being sucker free. You know what I mean? You got to be sucker free. You got to go through and count the cost and see what's causing you to be at a disadvantage. Okay. So the second prune is called a sucker branch. Now, let me tell you about the sucker. The sucker shoots out beneath the graph. So it, it, it's, it's real shady and sneaky. It come, it hits you below the belt. You dig? Like it's, he, he just come like a whole other way. Right? So it says that these branches are incredibly dangerous, not just dangerous, not just, oh, it could be a problem. It says these branches are incredibly dangerous to the life of the tree. Incredibly dangerous. Those are two very, very strong words. Very strong words. These branches are incredibly dangerous to the life of the tree. Y'all, if you have some suckers around you, if you're doing some sucker type stuff, anything like that, I'm telling you. It can be incredibly dangerous to your life. It says they will draw all of the strength and energy from the tree and to themselves. My God, a leech, a sucker. Everything is about them. They selfish. They always need you to do something. They never check on you. How you doing? What you got going on? They could not care less about what you have going on. You know why that's extremely dangerous and incredibly dangerous? Because you could lose yourself trying to help them out and they could not care less. And right over there, when you give all that you got and you die, right? They chilling. Nothing is happening to the graft. Nothing. No. Nothing is happening. So I need you to pay attention. I need you to be open. I need you to ask God, Lord, am I in any of these stages of pruning? Any of these stages. It says that effective pruning is different than just shearing the tree to look like a lollipop. You know, sometimes we think, oh, well, that was a lesson. Okay, I got it. And, you know, we're unaffected by it. Okay, we, we squeaky clean. We ready to go. No, you're not always going to be shipped up and shaped up in this way where, oh, it's all good. Sometimes, you know, you really have to be, like I say sometimes, and I know it's, 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 it's rough, but you got to be gutted like a fish sometimes. Sometimes God got to clean everything out. And in this case with the tree, sometimes he literally have to cut that thing to where it almost looks bare. But you ever seen like a really big tree? And somebody may say, man, I need somebody to trim my tree. You want to know why? Because you have branches coming up all over the place that don't belong. You have to cut those branches off and get them out. You have other ones all twisted and tied together, which, which is also going to stunt the growth, right? And they're moving and growing in the wrong direction. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you are in a pruning season, if this does sound familiar, like, okay, Everything is cool. I've been growing fine, but lately I've been feeling a stunt in my growth. I feel like things have been uncomfortable. I've been feeling, I'm going to tell you, a lot of you who are in this stage, you've been feeling attacked. You've been having a lot of enemy attacks. A lot of people coming at you. You look up this place, they don't like you. You look up that place, they don't like you. You just start to feel ostracized and alone. Then that's why the pruning sucks because you could have that big old, big old tree and you may have to cut that thing almost to nothing, you know, and it feels like I'm by myself. I'm alone. I don't have all of the bells and whistles anymore, but that is all something that God is doing. And even though it doesn't seem like it and it doesn't feel like it, it is absolutely something that he's doing. So I want you to join me back here tomorrow. And I will tell you about the second process of pruning and why, if you allow God to do the cutting now, if you allow God to help you remain sucker free, <laughs> if you allow God to show you the right direction and to remove the people that have tried to take you in the wrong direction. You'll see what happens when you allow him to do this process and how the pruning is only to get you to the promise. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for
for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.